Good morning children. Today we are going to study about our planet the earth. Can you name the planet where we are living and why it is called a unique planet? We live on the planet called earth. It is the third planet from the sun and the only planet to have life. It is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. The earth is the only planet in our solar system that has water and air. Water occupies 71% of the planet and land a mere 29%. The earth therefore is known as the blue planet and is called a unique planet. Earth has land masses called continents and large water bodies called oceans. Now let's talk about continents. Children, look at the picture given. We can see all the continents. How many continents are there, children? There are seven continents. They are Asia. It is the largest and the most populous continent, Africa. It is the second largest continent and the second most populous continent, North America. It is the third largest continent, South America. It is the fourth largest continent, Australia. It is the smallest continent, Europe. It is the second smallest continent, Antarctica. It is the coldest, windiest and the driest continent. Now we will talk about oceans. Look at this image. You can see five oceans. They are Pacific Ocean. It is the largest and the deepest ocean, Atlantic Ocean. It is the second largest ocean, Indian Ocean. It is the third largest ocean, Antarctic Ocean. It is also known as Southern Ocean. It is the fourth largest ocean, Arctic Ocean. It is the smallest and the shallowest ocean. Now, let's see the continents and the oceans on the world map. What is the shape of the earth? In the past, people believed that the earth was flat in shape. This belief stopped them from traveling to far off places. They feared that they would fall over its edges. Who proved that the earth is spherical and not flat in shape? Ferdinand Meglin, a Portuguese sailor, sailed around the world. He came back to the same place from where he had started his journey after three years of travel. This proved that the earth's shape is like a sphere. The earth is like a sphere, but it is slightly flattened at the top and bottom. Pictures taken from space also prove that the earth is like a sphere. Now children, do you know what is a globe and what does it show? Globe is the model of the earth and it shows distribution of land and water on the surface of the earth. It also shows correct shape, size and location of the continents and ocean. But globe has limitations. A large globe is difficult to carry. Space is limited and details cannot be shown on a globe. It is not possible to make globe for a part of the earth. Only one half of the earth can be seen at a time. Now observe the globe carefully. What do you observe? Large parts of the earth's surface are covered with water. Do you know children? Edafu or earth apple is one of the earliest surviving globes. It was made by Martin Bahayam in 1492. George Glockendam painted the map on the Edafel. What is the map? A map is a representation of the earth or a part of it on a flat surface. Limitations of a map. The curved surface of the earth cannot be shown correctly on the flat surface of the map. We have different types of maps. Political maps show countries, states, capitals, towns, etc. Physical maps 
show physical features like mountains, plains, rivers, etc. Climatic maps show information about climate and rainfall. Thematic maps show distribution of population, crops, soil, wildlife, etc. Who was first to publish a collection of maps in the form of a book? Gerardus MacArthur, a Flemish map maker, was the first to publish a collection of maps in the form of a book. A book of maps is called an atlas. How to mark directions on the map? Children, when we place the map in front of us, the top of the map is north, the bottom of the map is south, to our right is east, to our left is west. We can also mark the four intermediate directions on the map. They are northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. Now, it is not possible to show the actual size of the earth on a map because it is too large. So, we use scale. But what is the scale of a map? Scale is the relation between the marked distance and the actual distance. For example, 1 cm is equal to 500 km. It means that 1 cm on the map is equal to 500 km on the ground. Symbols Symbols on a map are used to show mountains, rivers, bridges, temples, railway tracks, etc. Now have a look at the symbols given below. This triangle shape stands for peak. Similarly, aeroplane for airport. Circle with dot, capital. Symbol dot, town or city. Two parallel lines, roads. Then comes railways, path, international boundary, state boundary, district boundary, industry, mountain pass, river, hospital, mountains, etc. We use colors also to represent different physical features on a map. Highlands, shades of brown. Lowlands and plain, shades of green. Water bodies, shades of blue. Have a nice day. That's all for today. Have a nice day.